Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Hi everybody, Tobias here, and uh, I guess we'll call this an update on the channel. I do have some knives that I could be showing you right now, uh, but I think first you might want to see the shirt. And uh, I don't know how many of these shirts I'm going to make. I don't know if I'm going to sell them or not, but I did decide to make one for the channel, and this is what I got so far. You can see the, uh, well, let's just turn it around and you can see what I did for the uh, the thing for the channel. We got uh, Kitty there. Uh, yes, Kitty passed away probably about two years ago now, but she is still a big part of the channel. And if you notice down at the bottom there, it says a cat production. And so that's why I think I can keep her image alive on here. Now, if you notice, cat is spelled K A T. And that is basically a play on words because, as you notice, the name of the channel is Knife Chats. And my name is Tobias, so really the K-A-T stands for Knives at Tobias. Uh, and uh, I don't know, let me know what you think of the shirt. I'm thinking about making them and making them available. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would want to wear a shirt that is promoting my channel other than me because well I need to promote my channel uh, I got two of them so far I got uh, an XXL and an XL I'll tell you right now they run a little small because I'm wearing the XXL and usually I wear an XL shirt and an XL shirt fits me like this does so <laughs> they seem to run a little small uh, that would be my feeling about it uh, if I were to sell them, I would probably have to sell them in the $25 range or a $30 range and probably need to get some kind of down payment up front before I would do it because, uh, well, they cost money to make. I, I made them in gray. I'm not sure if that's the best color. I'm thinking a lighter color would look a little better, especially with the uh, black and green here. In any case, that's one thing that I wanted to mention on the channel. If let me know if you'd be actually interested in purchasing a shirt or not. Uh, if you're interested, then, um, um, well, if you're a member, I would sell it to you at cost, uh, including shipping. If uh, if you weren't a member of the channel, then I'd probably have to charge you about $5 more on top of cost and shipping. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with it right now or not. And um, Well, just let me know what you think about that. The other thing, uh, two knives that I should have shown a long time ago and never did as far as I know. And these are um, in the Marbles uh, Wildlife series. Now there is like six or eight knives in this series. I can't remember how many. I only bought two of them, but I thought they were pretty cool. And I bought them mainly because they were white smooth bone and stag. And if you see right there, you got the uh, raccoons on there on this... Uh, uh, they call it a Daddy Barlow or a Big Daddy Barlow or a Granddaddy Barlow or a Master Barlow, 5-inch Barlow. And this is one of the earlier uh, knives that uh, featured the sledge and the half-stop. Um, the uh, Big Daddy Barlows came out a while back, uh, first with Rough Rider and then uh, Marvel started making them. The swedge on this goes all the way back into here, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if they still do that or not. But this is probably from, I think, 12 years ago, maybe 13 years ago. So before I had the channel running and up, up and running like I do now. But this is a really cool knife that I have. I bought this one because of the raccoons. And I bought the uh, the the uh, Wildlife Series uh Congress because of the cougar on there, you know, you just don't see many knives with mountain lions or anything like that on it So I just had to grab that one right away and uh, One of the negative things about this is you got a pin blade on this side Then you got a pin blade on this side. I wish it would have had a pin blade and a coping blade But it doesn't good half stop on both of them. Notice. There's no swedges on these uh, predates the swedging and you have uh, two sheep foot blades too. It would have been nice to have a drop point and a sheep foot blade and a coping blade and a uh, and a pin blade, but didn't have that. But you do have a little bit of a, a stag accent going on with them. Um, these are kind of difficult to find these days, the uh, 
but if you can run into the wildlife series knives that'd be a good one to find um, I would love to get all of them now at the time I just didn't have the money to pick them up at the time and uh, the cool thing about these knives also is I picked up both of these knives when I went to Smoky Mountain Knife Works for the very first time. These were two of the knives I picked up there. Okay, now while rummaging around on YouTube, I, I don't know if it was on RJ Knives or if it was on J.O. Ventures or somebody else's channel, but someone showed this on their channel. They had picked it up at a, a knife meet. It's a little card that Case puts out. And if you notice on this card, it shows you what all the tank stamps are and how to read them and everything. So you can uh, go all the way back to, uh, how far back do you go? Way back into, uh, 1905 what a case stank stamp looked like in 1905 and then on the top it explains how to read the uh, the different uh, numbers for a case knife and then the back side shows you the anatomy of a knife and then it shows you various uh, blade shapes uh, some of the more common blades that case uses so it's a pretty cool card uh, while I was looking for these on eBay I also ran across this one here which is kind of cool too see this one same information on the back as uh, for the tang information and everything as the uh, the plastic card but this is a metal card and then the front side WR case and Sun so that's pretty cool saw that on YouTube and uh, not YouTube I saw it on eBay and just had to pick it up right away these were a little more expensive than the uh, the plastic cards but it's a nice little handy thing to have around the uh, the workbench uh, when I'm you know looking at a case knife and trying to decide what year it is instead of what I have been doing which is going online and looking it up all the time yeah I do not know every tank stamp used by case uh, I do what most people whenever they're saying oh this knife was made in 1947 or something or 1960 or 1970 or whatever uh, I, I look it up online and get the the date off of the tank stamp having these little cards handy will be a lot easier than um, than going online all the time because uh, usually <laughs> I'm filming on my phone it's like what year is this and then it's like oh I gotta turn off my phone 
and uh, you know what I was filming and then uh, go find out what the number is and then come back and finish this will be so much easier to just have the card handy all right um, all right with that said uh, let me move over to here and I'm gonna break this knife out again I know I've already shown a video on it this is the uh, Rough Rider Reserve 040 ghost fish it's uh, basically an elephant toe or a sunfish knife easy open cut out here and then uh, you see here a wonderful blade on here uh, someone had mentioned I believe it was Williams Knife Life said that uh, that uh, AG Russell has a knife very similar to this um, the only difference is it costs about 60 bucks more uh, but I really love the blade on shape on this this was a knife uh, that was designed by Brian Wilhoyt and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of elephant toenails, so this knife was right up my alley. This is, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if this is my current favorite uh, Rough Rider Reserve knife or not, or if the um, Savic, or however you want to pronounce it, is still my favorite or not, but these are definitely my two favorite Rough Rider Reserve knives again. And I hope to pick up one more of each uh, in uh, a month or two when I run back down to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I really like this knife. This is the second one I have. I have one that is also signed by Brian Wilhoyt. Uh, I wonder if I should get one of these signed by Brian Wilhoyt. I really like this knife. This is a really cool one. The Ghost Fish. Uh, definitely a knife worth checking out if, uh, if you have the chance. If you're into Sunfish Knives, this one is not going to disappoint. I really like this one. This one was really well made. I've already done a video on it though, so uh, you'll see that even before you see this video. Speaking of knives that I've already done a video on, we have this one here. This is uh, the uh, Brian uh, Yellow Horse knife uh, that uh, featuring the uh, Choya wood, not Chala Choya. I pronounced it wrong before. Uh, and I just wanted to make uh, mention of that. It's actually pronounced Choya. I should have known that. It's a, a Spanish word. It features also the nice turquoise in there and everything. I really do like this knife. And uh, I thought I'd show it again. And one of the reasons I'm also showing this is because this knife, uh, someone had mentioned, you're going to want to buy another Brian Yellow Horse knife now that you have one. And uh, <laughs> that is true. I will probably pick up another Brian Yellow Horse knife. But what I also decided to do is uh, uh, Brian Yellow Horse uh, uh, teamed up with Rough Rider and came out with this Arrowhead series of knives. Now the box here was designed by, uh, by Brian Wilhoyt of Rough Rider. And you see everything on the box. Uh, I had already had about seven or eight knives in the series. There's a total of 12 plus one. There was one that came up afterwards. And I thought, you know what? I really should try and get the rest of that series. And then it's like, well, how are you going to display it once you get the rest of the series? Are you just going to throw it into a drawer or what? And uh, I got inspired. And that's what I wanted to show you is... Uh, right here I took um, this is a wood cigar box that I had and basically what I did is I uh, recovered the entire wood cigar box I I took a photo of the uh, arrowhead box and I laid it on um, a tabletop that was wood and that's what you have here is the arrowhead box on the top and then uh, on the side here you have the side panel from here it's like a you know a, a, a fifth grade uh, art project basically that I decided to do and so I made a box that I would be able to display the entire series in and then on the inside here's the inside of the box I have all the knives that uh, will make up the entire series. I'm still missing one of the knives in the series. Guess which one I'm missing? Yeah, the Trapper. Uh, at one time, the Trapper was the easiest one to pick up. Now it's almost impossible to find. In any case, I also took 
uh, and took some foam board and some suede, taped it together there. I will be stapling it in eventually. And that fits in the bottom of the cigar box. And then all the knives will display on top of that. And uh, here's some photos of it. So and I thought, you know what, that actually works out pretty good. And I'm thinking maybe that's something uh, I will do with a couple of my other um, smaller series of knives that I collect. Uh, uh, I have several other wooden cigar boxes. And maybe that's what I'll do is I'll just take the boxes and create a display case for them using old cigar boxes. Um, I think that'll be a nice way to display some of the knives that are in my collection, you know, the sub-collections that I have. Obviously, uh, larger knives such as these will probably have to be displayed in a different way, but um, just something that I thought of, and I, I think it works out really well, especially when you go and then put all the knives in the uh, series in the box, and you label what those knives are, you know, the numbers and everything else on the top of the box. It'll make a nice way to uh, keep the collection uh, in place. And I don't know, that's what I came up with. Maybe it's a goofy idea, but I thought it'd be kind of cool. Uh, and I'm going to try and do that, or I'm thinking of doing that with other knives. But uh, I really like the Brian Yellow Horse knives. Um, and like I said, I got all of them except the Trapper right now. And... Uh, including the add-on knife, which was the uh, little neck knife. I'm thinking seriously of taking, if I can get uh, two of these knives, you know, an, an extra one of the uh, Arrowhead series knives, I might actually drill out a space in the uh, handle here and inset one of the uh, shields, the Arrowhead shield, into this knife as well. Uh, doesn't really belong to the series, but that would make it a little bit closer into the series. Uh, in any case, uh, that's where I am with that. Hopefully, by now, uh, the video on this uh, Arctic Fox cotton sampler has aired. The, uh, at least the initial video on the Carnivore Jack has aired and uh, a couple other videos on knives that I bought way back around Christmas time have finally aired. But in the meantime, um, I guess I'll wrap things up now and uh, ask one more time, you know, what do you think of the uh, the shirt? Is it something you would be interested in? Uh, we're talking something that might run in the, the area of like $25, $30. I am thinking of maybe a different design on the back uh, and still having the, the Cap Production logo on the front. And uh, yeah, I swapped my face out for the cat because, quite frankly, I was not going to walk around with a t-shirt with my face on it. And if I'm not willing to do that, should I really expect you to? In any case, I'll let you go now. Hope you enjoyed this ramble. Talk to you again soon. Hey, did I rant on anything? Man, I should have ranted about something. Oh, well, maybe next time. Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with the Pious. I really do appreciate it, and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.